you're welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. I'm Doreen Avio, and I'm sure you're wondering why today I'm actually in my jersey. Well, I'll tell you more on it, yes, because it's just uh, it's a midweek, so perhaps maybe something different. But today we get to hang out with one South African artist. Basically, we are shining the lights on him. He's quite popular doing good music in South Africa. He was recently in Ghana, and um, I got to um, talk to him and his intentions of collaborating with some Ghanaian artists and the campaign against drug abuse we have Sakodia, Efia and Faust the guy, bad guy from Nigeria talking about it this and many more here on Let's Talk Showbiz. <laughs> Let's Talk Showbiz. If you just joined me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. And yes, I asked a question, and I'm sure you are, you're, you're sitting at home wondering why I'm in my Real Madrid jersey. So, come this Saturday at the Aviation Social Center, our sister station, Hits 103.9 FM, is organizing the eighth edition of the Hits FM Rep Your Jersey. And yes, at the Aviation Social Center. So, that Saturday, you're supposed to come in your favorite jersey so it could be real madrid it could be liverpool it could be manchester or barcelona so you come there in your favorite jersey and then we get to play some games like football five aside we can do basketball table tennis and the likes and then in the evening we get to watch the live match between liverpool and real madrid i'm not going to tell you the team that i'm in support of but trust me it's a big game and on the 26th we are looking forward to it Let's talk showbiz. All right, so that's it for the Hits FM Rep Your Jersey, taking place this Saturday at Aviation Social Center. So now to our Spotlight segment today. I've been hanging out with one young man from South Africa. He is a musician. His name is MT. He was recently in Ghana for the Afrima Awards launch, and I had the opportunity to interact with him. He has bigger hopes. Uh, he's hoping to collaborate with some Ghanaian artists, and also he talks about the meaning of his name and other interesting stuff about himself. Let me ask you, what do you make of the Afrimas? Afrimas, man. For me, I think they're the future um, Grammys of Africa. Yeah, that's how I see it. Uh, and it's just a dope platform to, to unite as a continent as well to show each other that you know, we actually have potential to take this to the world, to the rest of the world. You know? uh, every time I go home from an Afrima event, I just feel vibrated and inspired. Like, I just saw Saak, I saw Tubaba, I saw, you know, when I go back home, I'm working twice as much, you know? And that's motivation. And the Afrima, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. What do you make of it being done here, organized here in Ghana? I mean, you've been to other parts of the African continents, but now it's in Ghana. What do you make of it? It's dope, man. It, 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 it's Africa. It's about Africa, you know? So any country that's in Africa, it's cool, whichever one, you know? And every time we introduce to a new country that hosts, we get to learn also about the country. And we get to witness the hospitality, learn cultures and stuff like that. As I'm here, I'm learning a lot, you know. Is this your first time in Ghana? Yeah, it's my you first enjoy time. your stay? Yeah, 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 I'm enjoying the stay. People are cool, they're humble. And yeah, man, I respect that. Mm. Now tell me, MT, your name, does it have a meaning? Or is it a South African name? Like, what's the meaning of it? Well, it's got a lot of meanings, you know. Um, it's, how you spell it is E M T W E. It's actually the abbreviations M N T. You no, know, it's the first two letters of my name. Uh, 
you know so I went to a multiracial school where there's all types of races so a lot of kids couldn't pronounce my 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 real name in Tembein. So one of my friends just started calling me MT you know, from that day. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Um, now, looking, this is your first time in Ghana. Maybe a lot of people do not know you or much about you here in Ghana. What kind of music do you do? Trap. 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 Yeah, yeah. I make, I make African trap. It's my own genre. I came up with yeah, African trap. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. I appreciate it. These voluntary bitches trying to please me. Bitches were never around. No. Look, now I'm holding it down. I'm probably running this town. Yeah. Haters ain't making a sound. talk showbiz. Alright, so that was MT and we are looking forward to see him this year in October for the Afrima Awards which will take place here in Ghana. Now, away from that, the campaign against tramadol or drug abuse, yes, lots of people are campaigning against it. We've had a lot of our stars um, educating the youth and of course, cautioning them against drug abuse. And now to add to the list, we have rapper Sakwadia. Uh, we have singer a fear and also files the bad guy from Nigeria. Let's hear from them. Drug abuse is a horrible thing. I think it's, it's, it should be frowned upon by everyone that has a voice. Everyone that can speak should speak against it. Drug abuse is horrible and you know if you don't have appropriate medication there's no reason why you should take something that is a pharmaceutical. So um, at the end of the day don't abuse any kind of drug. Be it tramadol, be it codeine, any kind of drug shouldn't be taken for leisure. Definitely we would say honestly guys you're destroying your lives. It doesn't there's no fun in it. We need you guys to um, build the future. You are the future of the country. So please stop doing drugs. Honestly, it doesn't make you cool and you won't get anything out of it. You're just going to die. So don't die. Please stay alive because we need you. Please don't do drugs. Yes, it is a very serious situation and I've known this, but we definitely needed somebody to speak about it. And big up to Nana Banamua for taking on that initiative. I watched that um, documentary, that short documentary, and it's, it's really heartbreaking to see that um, these young guys are turning to that. But sometimes there uh, are situations that make you go into it. But what I want to tell the people out there doing this is, you know, uh, life, we have to cherish life, you know, and these things lead you to the wrong path. And I know there can be hardship that you think you want to take your mind off it. But the bottom line is that the problem doesn't go after smoking, after drinking. When you wake up the next morning, the problem is still there. So the best way to deal with it is to wake up and face it as a man, you know, and, and, and don't take anything that you feel can take your mind off it. You know, so, yeah, um, hopefully the campaign can still go on and then it can get to the people. I don't mind to join. So any anything that you guys are doing, if you have an activation towards it, just let me know and I'll support.